Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Dr. Mundaha and let's get to right with another new video and today's topic will be about how Salat or prayer actually changed my life and it will also change yours if you follow these simple strategies which I will be explaining today. So let's start and let me tell you first that the first three points that I will explain will be actually about how you can make Salat your habit and also the other three points will be about what you will face or how you will feel after making salat your habit so this video will cover these six points before starting the points i want to answer one question that might have popped up on your mind which is how can i or we actually understand that salad has actually become our habit so it's quite simple let me just explain what i what i have faced and this was like if uh, wait, I have faced this scenario, so I'm explaining from my opinion. So this was like when I somehow might have missed one worked prayer for any kind of uncertain reasons. So the things that would actually, like, the things that would actually happen was like this. Negativities would surround me then I would feel like Almighty might have become angry with me because I have missed one for salah so that was really important but i have missed what might happen in future i really don't know or might he might become angry he might not bless me he might be uh, this much angry that he will not accept now he will might not accept my prayers in future so i was this kind of anxious when i used to miss one work prayer so this was actually the thing that yes you are progressing and somehow salat was becoming your habit because when you were missing that good thing you were feeling anxious you were tensed about what will happen in the future and overall you were tensed about missing any kind of like any walk prayer right so as i have told earlier in this video that the first three points will help you to make salat or prayer your habit so the first point is try to set alarms or use quran apps so i use three or two apps i think uh, like quranic apps which actually first of all helps me to read quran uh, digitally if uh, for example say i'm traveling and i'm feeling anxious or i'm tensed about some kinds of things i just used to like i really do that till now that i used to open the quran app and start reading some few of the ayats and also their meanings so that i can really feel calm and uh, so these are the two quran apps that i really use in my regular daily life so this quran apps uh, one of the quran apps also has this kind of function that the like the azan will go on uh, whenever they are the time of that specific prayer will start for example if that is further time the further azan will play on your phone and you'll get a notification that it's time for further get, go get up uh, go get up and like do wudu and uh, sit for your prayer so this here the highlighted part is that azan will go on and you have to haste for, for your prayer so it's not kind of haste it's like the meaning will be that whatever work you were doing then you have to stop on that very time and you have to go for your prayer because prayer should be always in the first and second comes your work so here the highlighted or the part that reflects is that you have to go for prayer no matter what you are doing at that time so this is the part this is the first step that you will do to make salat your habit and you have to continue doing this like uh, you have to continue doing this thing that you have to haste for your prayer or you have to go for your prayer leaving your work behind so this thing will actually you have to continue this for long one or two months it really depends on you like there isn't any specific time uh, like how much time a person is going to take to build a habit it's totally up to you if it's taking seven days for you it's better if it's taking one month or two months it's fine you have to the main goal should be you have to build that habit that's it so the second point of the whole scenario which will actually help you to build uh, a habit of praying salad regularly is you have to maintain a routine so what I was telling in the first point was that you have to continue doing that specific procedure of 
like leaving your work or you have to stop doing anything which that you were doing at the time and go for your prayer so that thing you have to maintain for days after days until it doesn't become your habit so you have to continue doing that and uh, one thing i want to mention here is for the ladies if you are on your menstrual cycle and you have to break that procedure make sure that you are building your habit after or before your menstrual cycle starts because your menstrual cycle days might hamper building that habit that's totally fine it's it's like we all know that what we can do in our menstrual cycle days that's not a big deal but if you are making a habit and if there is any kind of obstruction in between that might actually hamper that uh, the habit that you are building up so for that reason you have to make sure that you are starting building that habit um, after or before starting or ending of your menstrual cycle that will help you that's not a big deal but I was just remind giving a reminder that's it so uh, going back to the same point you have to make it a habit and what i have also told earlier that it really doesn't matter how much time you are taking to build that habit it really matters how much you are focused on that specific simple habit and also what i have learned from the book atomic habit and i have also reviewed that book you'll find the video here i think so from that book what i have learned that you have to always focus on small chunks of habit not the big one like for example if you are focusing on building a habit or a specific uh, specific one let's say about building a habit on making my prayer regular you have to focus on the small chunks that am I leaving the work as soon as the azan goes on then comes am I perfectly praying the prayer at the perfect time because uh, it's it's really a good example of a human being of a perfect muslima that you are completing your prayer just after your after uh, after the azan goes so that's really a good habit you can build that too so you will have to make sure of the second point so these kinds of small chunks you have to really focus on rather than focusing on a big term that i have to build a habit of praying the salah regularly so just go on to the small chunks you will easily do it inshallah don't worry third point uh, which I find really intriguing is like miss one work but not the another one so this thing I have told at the first part of the video answering that specific question someday like say if you are traveling or you don't have that specific place to perform your prayer you missed the first prayer and now you have to like compensate for the prayer uh, after the next work or something like that but remember don't miss that's it so uh, let's say you have missed that specific work prayer and now what you are thinking that I have missed the let's say the Maghrib prayer now what will I do I know Almighty is surely angry with me no I really don't know so this kind of complex things things will be going on your mind I know I don't know this might happen that might happen he might have been angry with me he might not bless me then uh, he might not accept my prayers all these things will be going on your mind and it's human nature we are born for making things complex where Almighty has already made everything fixed and that's the simplest rule but what we do is make things more complex because Shaitan is always there right now he's also uh, he's also pinching me to make this segment <laughs> A lot more longer but I will not take that much time what I will be saying is to the point that when I was going through all going through all these kinds of things complexities I suddenly got up and got really angry and I was telling myself no matter if Almighty get angry with me I will be surely praying the next prayer I won't be missing that yes I might have missed the previous one but I will not be missing the next one so this is the first target that you have thrown to shaitan that let's see we are going to do better than you <laughs> these kinds of things so that was the first time i crossed the awkward barrier the barrier that was ex actually resisting me from also accomplishing the next prayer and uh, this was the first time when i thought yes if almighty was somehow angry with me he might not have been allowed me to pray the next prayer that means in total he wasn't angry with me he just wanted me to learn this lesson that shaitan will be always there for you you just have to take some other route to reach towards me 
so that's the thing what i have learned from this point now we will actually talk about how salat can change your life or what things salat has brought in my life which i wasn't feeling before when i wasn't regular about my salat or my prayers so the first one that i'll talk about there are many other points but that will make this video too much lengthy i won't take that much of time so the first point will be about refreshment so what we actually do when we are feeling bored or when we have studied for a longer time for four to five hours and we really want some kind of recreation we actually do procrastination like we like to scroll our social media accounts then we go through some kind of news or any kind of viral videos uh, all that so but one refreshment or recreati recreational idea that i have tried is praying salah when you get really tired of anything or you get bored or you are feeling anxious and also tensed at the same time so that was praying salat for example if i am studying for long three hours i obviously need refresh refreshment in between that before studying the second chunk of my study so what i will do is what, what i have done is that i used to um, pray and uh, let's say as i really study after the evening time so that will be the isha time or isha prayer so if i study for three hours long then i will go and do my ablation and go for the isha prayer and then i will go for the second chunk of my study so what this isha prayer in between does is that like i have really felt that it really like destroys or vanishes the boredom that you are feeling after three hours of study then it will make you feel more energetic the way your energy was filled at the first time when you first set for the study at the evening period so this i i actually have felt these aren't research from google these aren't i haven't received any kind of opinion from anyone these are all from myself i have felt these things and i hope inshallah you will also face these things like like to remove any kind of boredom you can now from onwards you can try to sit down and just pray this will really help the second point of this section is about salat was giving me answers yes i'm truly talking about that the salat was giving me answers and uh, like <clears throat> similarly almighty was giving me answers that's it so how he was giving me answers of course i'll be giving example here uh, it will be easy to understand and uh, to be honest there are no contrary of these points nobody is ever going to tell tell you that salat wasn't giving me answers that is really bullshit i mean i have faced myself and if you really if you are a muslim and if you really believe in taqwa the oneness then you have to understand that there is always one who is ready to help you in any situation that's it that's the main target and everything will be like easy for you so that's it and now if i talk about the example or start with an example that is uh, for example if i'm facing any kind of dilemmas and i really want an answer i have really short amount of time to get or stick to a decision and i really don't know what decision i'm going for like let's all let's say i have two parts and i don't know which part to select so what i will do is just ask almighty for his help and here the highlighted part is you have to ask almighty for his help he will be happy that's it we all know right if you want something from almighty because he is the master of everything he will be really happy and ultimately he will answer your prayers that's it so for example i am facing a dilemma and i have to i have to stick to at any any one of the decision and what i was saying to almighty is please help me out almighty i really don't know which path will be better for me you have been always there for me and you know how exactly i am more than i know myself so you have to show me a way there is no any there is no other person in this world who is going to help me and i really didn't don't exactly believe myself in this case so i'm depending on you and only you just help me out in a miraculous way you will get and finally you'll get to a decision okay you will stick to a decision trust me i have been gone through these phases i know so you will stick to a decision and now you might say all right it's a coincidence you might be getting your gut feeling yes that's the answer it's your gut feeling what that's the thing you weren't getting before asking almighty for help 
so almighty has helped you to listen to your gut feeling that's it so that's the answer of this term and uh, i've been really energetic today like i was like uh when i was writing the script of this video i was making sure that my viewers have to understand what i was explaining because these aren't anything researched these are experimented by myself so i have to make you understand how i was feeling at that time the last point of today's video and it is like towards allah and away from shaitan so we all actually know how shaitan ploys everything and what i want to say in this point is actually i used to be a person who used to take things quite negatively before i was making salat my habit i used to find the bad things first and i wasn't aware of the things like i wasn't supporting myself and i wasn't sticking to any kind of decision before i was this close to almighty so what i have learned after that is okay so let me set an example here too so let's say for example what we have always heard from our gurus or our elder people elderly people that if you want anything from almighty he will obviously give you so that's the simplest term that we that we used to hear in our fifth or sixth standard when you when we used to study the islamic studies we had a subject so after that let's say i started wanting a bmw from almighty and obviously from my dad too because uh, people used to say you have to want from almighty but uh, ultimately you have to want from your dad too because he was going to pay for the bmw so that's it and uh, i have started praying and i started wanting from almighty uh, uh, for the bmw and days passed and years passed i still don't own a bmw <laughs> so what uh, as a fifth standard sixth standard student uh, if i like see myself in that point of view i will make uh, i will be getting that thought that yes no i think almighty don't accept everyone's prayer and uh, i'll be thinking more kind of negative things which i can't explain really now so but if i right now think of myself i will be taking things more positively so let's explain the same scenario i don't want a bmw right now even after a lots of praying so what I will think right now is that first of all, I think BMW won't suit me or I won't suit BMW, that's it. And uh, second of all, I think I won't find it valuable after buying and I would regret. And third of all, I think Almighty don't want right now to own a BMW. I don't know about future right now. I think Almighty don't want me to get a BMW. That's it. So this is this is how positively in a positive way i'll be taking things right now so the term here is not only positivity it's about knowledge to gaining knowledge too because these things i have been thinking right now is because i know the term that i didn't used to know when i was in a fifth or sixth standard that is almighty accepts our prayers in three ways which we all right know right now we know and also we might not know that's not a big deal so in three ways that is he accepts instantly or he uh, will accept in like whenever he feels good whenever he feels fine that he, that the timing will be okay for me that time or he might give something else what i have been wanting something else which is far 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 more better than my plans so these are the three ways in which almighty accepts our plans and for that reason i was thinking that okay it's really fine to not get a bmw right now it's not the end of the world so in this way you are going away from shaitan's plan and also closer towards almighty which is pretty good all right so that's the end of today's video and i hope you have really enjoyed this informative session with me and if you really want to follow me on instagram and tiktok you will be getting my profile links on the description below or also on the screen and then you can subscribe to my channel if you find my videos really useful and please 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 share my videos with your family and friends who really needs this kind of sessions or videos to change themselves and uh, also don't forget that every day 
is a day to learn new things or to revive yourself. So uh, please subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and family. And also you can watch other videos on my channel some, somewhere on the screens or the playlists on the screens. You can check those out and we will meet inshallah in the next video. Till then stay safe. Assalamualaikum.